Welcome back to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Today's episode powered by Hayabusa is part two on how to fix your round kick. And today we're focusing on the switch kick. All right, in today's episode, we're focusing on improving the switch kick with these progression drills. Now, the switch kick tends to be one of the harder strikes you're gonna learn in martial arts. Now, I'm gonna give you my perspective on it, and everyone has little different touches, but I'm gonna teach it as more of a beginner way to build up to even someone who's a professional fighter, because there's little details that I see professionals do that these drills can really help out. Okay, so let's get into the progression. So the whole point of these progression drills is starting slow and getting more and more advanced. And each time we add a drill, it's teaching you something that's important into the switch kick, okay? So the first thing that I even like to start with, okay, I'm an orthodox fighter, which means my right foot is behind me and we're focusing on using the switch kick, okay? But before anything, my first progression drill is gonna actually be having them in southpaw, the opposite stance. If you're a southpaw, obviously you're going to go orthodox for the switch kick. Now, just like the round kick, okay, now I'm going to throw with my left kick. I'm going to start by actually doing a stationary round kick. Those who watched part one, this was the first drill in part one, but we're just doing it on the other side. Why? Because when you switch kick now, all of the weight, okay, when I switch, okay, goes on this calf and I want to ideally be on the ball of my foot. So this is just teaching you now how to one, keep all your weight on your bad side calf, okay? Also, I don't like calling it bad side, I'll say non-dominant side. So you want to work your calf, which tends to be a little bit weaker on your non-dominant. So we're going to do stationary drills. From here, I'm going to work on pushing off the back and pivoting with my front foot, okay? I'm not stepping, pivot and come back. Pivot and come back, okay? Once you learn this technique, usually what I'll do with my classes when I do these progression drills, I'll do about 20 on each of these different drills so they get it. We don't have time, but you might want to stop, practice one more than the other, okay? So now that I have the stationary step, just like the other side, I'm just gonna work on taking a little step and then launching the kick, okay? Very similar to what we did on the rear side. So taking a step, staying on the ball of the foot, pivot and coming back, okay? Why this one's very important because a lot of times when people throw their switch kick, they switch and then they tend to go on their heel and they switch too much, which ends up being a kick on your heel and falling backwards. I need you to feel this, okay? I need you to feel you on your ball of your foot. You need to be on your calf for a perfect left switch kick, okay? So make sure we're here, our heel isn't falling down, okay? I also don't want you stepping so you're on your heel and you're leaning back. On the ball of the foot, you pivot and you stay on that ball of the foot, okay? Now we're gonna go to drill number three. Now, with drill number three, it's just gonna be basically where if you working your feet going in this direction, okay? This tends to be more of a pattern that people are used to, okay? This is beginning to understand switching your feet, okay? It's not how we do it, obviously, because I'm being very square and I'm not in a fight stance. So what I want you to do is find your fight stance. Now, what I want you to do is I want you to work on switching your feet by keeping this lead shoulder in front, okay? If you're southpaw, obviously, you're here. If you're orthodox like myself, you're switching your feet. Now, if you notice, when I switch my feet, okay, this back foot is almost in my pivot for me, okay? So when I'm in my stance, I switch. I personally like, I would say 45 degree. This would be centered, 45, and this is 90. Some people switch right into a 90. I want a little bit of a turn, so when I switch, boom, I like a 45 degree, so it lets me get that little bit of a turn on my hip to get a little bit more snap and power, okay? So once you've got in this side here, watch my lead side. I'm able to switch my feet without doing this. I don't wanna switch my feet and do this shoulder because if I do this to Diego and he's, say we're sparring, and I switch here and he punches me in the face, boom, I square myself out. But now if I stay here and he tries to punch me, look, I still have something in front of me to be able to switch safely without being punched in the face, okay? So once you've gotten the switch with being able to keep your lead side in front of you, this is when we're gonna introduce the kick, okay? 
Now, when I switch my feet, okay, boom, okay? See, I'm about here, okay? I'm not overstepping. Finding that range is very important, okay? So finding your distance, I switch my feet. Now, when you do this, okay, you need to visualize a line, okay? Now, my back foot, when I switch, okay, I'm going to put my foot, right now my toes are on the line. When I switch, my toes go to the right of the line. Let's watch it here, okay? Back foot is on this line, dividing the black and gray mats. When I switch my feet, keeping this lead shoulder in front, you notice my toes went to the right side of the line. This way, I can still stay on my cap, and I can generate power with a little bit of a pivot, okay? So I'm switching slightly offline, and then it's almost like that position we worked before. Boom, kicking, okay? So then you're gonna work the switch, okay? Finding the calf, and then kicking, okay? Now, ideally, this is where we start understanding beginner to advance, okay? It looks like a, a switch kick, okay? That's how a beginner is gonna throw it. One, two, okay? Which isn't bad, it's starting to develop. One, two, okay? It's starting. Now, the ideal way of throwing it, okay, is what I do with my lead foot, it doesn't end up being a perfect straight line switch. As I switch, okay, my back foot almost does a half moon as my front foot does a straight line. Straight to half moon, okay? And then this lets me launch my hip. Now the whole point of this power is the hips turning to generate power, okay? So by my shoulders staying here and my hips turning, now all of a sudden it's that boom, my hips snapping, that's gonna generate the power. I've winded up, I've generated tension, load, 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 like a slingshot, and then when it gets to the point, shoot, you let that go, or like a top spinning, you're gonna generate that power. Now, one coaching tip here, a lot of people when they switch, okay, they bring their weight forward, so it's hard. I want you to think of being pulled up, okay? So as I switch my feet, I'm pulling up, okay? By lifting up, it gets me on my calf. If I'm switching too far, guess what? I can't go up and look at my balance, it's completely off, okay? So I need to make sure when I switch, okay, this foot is underneath my hip. If it's in front of my hip, I'm not able to generate power on that calf. So remember this here, maybe do this a couple times, okay? Straight line, half moon, launch. And even when I kick, okay, boom, boom, my shoulder's here, okay? So once you develop that switch nicely, switch, boom, okay? Switch, boom, okay, on that cap, boom, reaching with the hip, pulling up, okay? Keeping the chin down, but lifting yourself up, boom, on that calf. Now, the last point to the progression is the exit to the kick. Now, there's two main exits, okay? I'm gonna quickly teach you them. The first one is my favorite I'll start with. As I switch, I kick, foot comes right down, back foot exits out, okay? Here, switch, kick, down, exit out, okay? Switch here, ball of the foot down, exit out. The second one, not my personal favorite, but it works, okay? So you can switch kick, come back to your southpaw, come back to orthodox. Now, this one has its purpose when I wanna exit further out, right? Look how much I can exit out, boom, very far. The other one I like because it keeps me defensive and I don't have to go as far, okay? You can see I'm more engaged in the fight depending what I wanna do or if I wanna escape, okay? So, the switch kick, these progression drills, very important. Like I said, there's major mistakes that happen a lot that these drills help fix up, like switching too close to the target. If my front back foot goes too close to my target, I have to lean back, I can't get on my calf to generate power, okay? The other big mistake is the power stepping line, okay? When I switch my feet, I gotta go to the right side of the line. If I'm switching my feet and going this way, my body's all compromised, the balance. Remember, a perfect kick, I'm in a good stance. When I switch, I'm in good power. When I land, I'm in good power. When I exit, I'm in good structure, right? My body position, I'm not falling. I'm not kicking and then falling back. I'm placing my foot down, okay? Everything is with control. It's not this. No, look, after I kick, 
I place my foot down, exit out, because I'm in good structural balance in all of my techniques, okay? So finding that balance, that structure, and the right stepping is gonna keep you balanced, being able to defend, set things up properly, okay? So very important. Now, that last point I wanted to make, remember, as you get more advanced, it's not a straight line switch. Ideally, okay, it's almost a half moon with the straight line on the rear foot, bang, okay? Now don't over, okay, too much, understanding that balance and structure, that's why these progression drills will help you gauge how long your switch is gonna be. Like I said, you don't need to switch big and long, it's quick. Boom, okay? It's depending speed versus power. All will come once you understand the right technique, okay? I hope you enjoyed today's episode. Still a lot to learn, right? So keep studying, keep learning, and pay attention to the details in this video, and it'll really help these your kicking out, okay? Part one and part two, very important. A lot of similarities, but this switch kick, okay? You gotta really focus on it. It's a very important technique, all right? Like, subscribe, share, and make sure you support the channel by supporting our sponsors. First, we got Hayabusa by going to Hayabusa Fight, all linked in the description below, but I highly recommend you look at their T3 boxing gloves, the ones I'm always wearing, my personal favorite. Then we have Perfect Sports Nutrition using code Bazooka20, gets you 20% off your supplements. The ones I've been taking on a daily basis have been the pre-workouts before these videos and my training. I have my branch chain amino acids and my protein for recovery. And then last but not least, we have bazookatraining.com. We get online training taught by me for less than $10 a month, such a steal. And you get four different types of videos. You got home workouts, bag workouts, sparring drills, tutorials, all with different types of concepts and learning that you can learn. Plus now with an archive library of close to 300 videos. So tons of information for you to learn for less than $10 a month, okay? Remember these videos, I just give you little details, but when you wanna put it together in a bigger system, this is where real martial arts happens, okay? Yes, you can kick properly, but how do you set them up? How do you exit? How do you defend off of that? What are the counters? What are my movement options? What's the footwork? Bazooka training. Com. All right, we'll see you next time at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Welcome to Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA Online Training. I'm Bazooka Joe Valtellini, the owner here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA. Over the past year, I've designed and created a website to teach Bazooka curriculum at home and across the world. The purpose of this website is for you to one, hit your fitness and health goals, all while learning world-class martial arts instruction from me. The beautiful thing about this website, it's geared for all levels. So if you're learning martial arts for the first time as a beginner, we help you progress into the bigger stages. And if you're a pro fighter, guess what? We have different fight concepts for you to improve your tool set and your skills in the ring or cage. As the fastest rising kickboxing world champion and a lifelong martial artist with over 30 years of experience, I've been able to combine my passion for martial arts and teaching to create this website. This website's gonna give you some of the tricks, secrets, and inside look at some of the training I use to win my world title. Once you subscribe to this site, you're gonna be getting weekly training videos and tutorials that you can do from anywhere. The sections are broken up into three parts. The first is bag workout. So if you have a bag at home or at your gym, you can use these workouts to supplement your training. The second is at home workouts. A lot of us don't have the room for a bag or a bag in general, so these workouts are for no equipment needed and you can do them anywhere. And finally, the tutorial section. If you're having any problems with a specific technique or fight concept that's covered in any of the workouts, go to the tutorial section, learn the technique, and then go back to the workout, and this time, do it with proper technique. One of the added benefits once you subscribe is the forum section, where you can get a more personalized experience where you can ask questions, and I'll be able to go in there and answer them. It's all about building a team and a community of martial artists helping each other grow. So subscribe now to get access to all the videos plus more so you can be part of the squad here at Bazooka Kickboxing and MMA.